Selective color is found under the color correction category, and this is really an effect that's just here because you can make this type of adjustment in Photoshop. It's not necessarily all that useful in After Effects, but I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my photo. And what it allows us to do is make a selective color correction, which according to the Adobe Help Guide is a technique used by scanners and other programs meant for print work to separate the process colors, which are cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, CMYK, within an RGB document. So this effect is able to read the RGB colors from this photo and then modify those colors based on the CMYK values. And like I said, Photoshop has an adjustment layer for selective color and it's useful for CMYK workflows, but that's really the primary reason this effect is in After Effects at all, is just for compatibility between programs. The first control we have is the method and we have two different options, relative or absolute. Relative is going to use these sliders down here to modify the existing amount of cyan, magenta, yellow, or black in the image by a percentage of what's already there. So a value of zero on any of these percentages means no adjustment is being made. But let's say that cyan makes up 50% of this image and I increased this value to say 10, then 5% cyan is added to that cyan channel because 10% of 50 is five. But what I just did is actually added 10% more cyan to the reds. So it took however much cyan was in the reds of my image and increased that by 10% relative to how much cyan was already there. It's kind of a weird way to think about it, but if I just move this slider, it's a lot easier to just see visually what's changing. So I'm pushing in more or taking out cyan from the reds. You do the same thing with any one of these, magenta, yellow, or black. And that's pretty much just brightness level. So if I increase the black, it's gonna get darker. If I decrease the black, it'll get lighter. The other method we have is absolute. So instead of making adjustments as a percentage of what's already there, let's get this cyan back down to zero and change this to maybe cyan. If I increase the cyan with the absolute method, it's just going to add whatever percentage I have here to what was already there. It's not a percentage of what already existed. It's just adding that much more to that channel. So if for some reason I wanted to add more magenta to my cyan, I could do that or take some out, increase the yellow to make it more green. There's a lot of levels of control here, but unless you need to work in the mindset of CMYK, this effect really isn't any better than some other color effects for modifying color channels. But underneath the colors menu, you can choose any one of these options and have a really fine tuned control. And then finally, we have this details section, and this actually does everything that we have up here. It's just an expanded view that matches what we have down here in the timeline. If I go into the details, we have individual key frameable properties for each one of these, instead of just these compact controls that are based on whatever you have selected in this dropdown. But that's everything you need to know about selective color. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.